Julius Evola is today known as a major exponent of the movement that has come to be called traditionalism and was the author of several important works on Hermeticism and Eastern religions. Evola was not a fascist, and in his earliest publications on politics, such as notably the Imperialismo Pagano of 1928, he criticized the Italian fascist state as a soulless entity that did not rise above petty populism and nationalism to the transcendental sources of an ideal hierarchical society. When updating Imperialismo Pagano for its translation into German, he replaced the Mediterranean Roman paganism with a Nordic Aryan one emanating from the Hyperborean north of a legendary Thule. While he'd shown little sympathy for Italian fascism, he now evinced an unusual interest in the racialist ideology of National Socialism. In the late 30s and early 40s, Evola undertook frequent trips to Germany, going on speaking tours, meeting with SS officials, and attending conferences. In 1941, Evola published a work detailing his own racial ideology, Sintesi di Dottrina della Razza, which decried all biological racialism and raised the notions of spiritual race and of racial souls above it. The Germans were, in general, not fully sympathetic to Evola's views. In official SS circles, Evola's lectures were subjected to close scrutiny, such as the analysis of soldier and intellectual Kurt Honka, about whom we will hear more in the future, who, working for the Zikaheitsdienst, wrote the following of Evola, quote, Evola's doctrine is neither national socialism nor fascism. Evola's attitude to Christianity remains ambiguous. The last and secret motivation of Evola's ideas must be sought in a revolt of the old aristocracy against the hostile present world." End quote. Julius Evola in the Third Reich Translated and with an introduction by Alexander Jacob Edited by Gerd Simon Available now